If you want to corrupt your abilities in update 3.0, you're going to need Soul Essence. How exactly do you get it? Well, that's what we're going to be learning today. Get comfortable and grab a suitably magical cup of coffee, we've got souls to rend. So before we start off, there are a few things you're going to need. In your base, you will need the following. A furnace of any type, though upgraded ones are preferable. A casting table. A torturer's workbench. And the new sacrificial stone workstation. These are all fairly reasonable requirements that you should hopefully be able to meet with relative ease. You don't really need more than one of the sacrificial stones, even if you play in a larger group of 3, 4 or 5 players, but you may wish to have access to more than one furnace. So the first step is that you will need to collect some crystals to make glass. My personal favourite spot for this on the Exiled Lands is Scuttler's Shortcut in the northeast of Map Square F7. It's a fairly long, narrow cave that leads to a boss at the end, but before you reach the boss, you can find tons of crystals and you'll easily be able to harvest a few hundred units here. This cave does have some spiders that you will have to fight off, but honestly there should be a trivial conflict at best. Of course this isn't the only spot, feel free to leave a comment regarding your favourite spot for farming crystals. So once you've gathered a sufficient number of crystals, you'll want to go home and throw them in the furnace to smelt them into glass. Two crystals will make one piece of glass, so however many crystals you have, you'll end up with half that number in glass. Set it to smelt in one or more furnaces, go away for a little while, and then come back to collect your glass. Once you've done that, you will need to craft your glass into glass flasks. Take said glass from the furnace over to the casting table. If you don't already have a flask mould, you can make one using 15 iron bars. Once you have your mould, you need to start crafting the flasks. One flask costs three pieces of glass, so for example, if you have 300 pieces of glass, you will end up with 100 flasks. This is something to consider when making your calculations, as you may find yourself needing more flasks in the future for other things, not just for soul essence. Whilst those flasks are crafting, head over to the torturer's workbench and craft some bindings and a truncheon. I'm using a legendary truncheon and some bindings of the dead, but you can easily get away with entry level gear here. Once you have those, head out to your nearest NPC camp. Personally, I'd suggest targeting lower leveled NPCs like Dogs of the Desert, as they are much softer targets than the Nordheimers or Relic Hunters. All you'll need to do is simply head in there, knock someone out and drag them back to your base. I'm using admin mode here so the enemies won't attack me, but in regular survival you'll probably want to kill off most of the people in the camp and knock out the remaining NPC. It will be easier to knock out the weaker ones like the tier 1 fighters or entertainers, as you don't get any extra soul essence for knocking out and sacrificing higher leveled enemies. Once the enemy is unconscious, get your bindings out and drag them back to your base. Once you're home, head over to the sacrificial stone and strap them up. Grab your glass flasks from the casting table, and from here you'll have three options within the sacrificial stone UI. The first two are related to drawing blood from the victim, but we don't want to do that right now. Instead we'll be using the final green option on the right hand side to draw the soul from the body. Triggering this causes a short animation in which you'll raise your arms and draw the soul from the sacrifice, withering their body and granting you five soul lessons. This is enough to gain one new corrupted perk by investing 5 points of corruption into a skill. Each point costs a single soul essence and thus you will need 20 soul essences in total to corrupt an attribute to the max, so it's basically 4 sacrifices per max corrupted skill tree. So to summarise, gather crystals, smelt them into glass and make glass flasks at the casting table. Craft a truncheon and some bindings, find and knock out a human NPC and drag them back to the sacrificial stone. Place them onto it, grab your crafted glass flasks, select the third option to drain the soul, and the soul will then fill up 5 glass flasks to create soul essence. With your soul essence you can now corrupt your skills and delve even deeper into the power of sorcery. Do be careful though as your sacrifices leech your own power, permanently corrupting you and making you weaker in return for arcane knowledge of the outer dark. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment or subscribe, any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, 
full size build blueprints, discord rolls and more. As always a massive thanks to our patrons Sadalot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Torn, Ill-Fated, Coffeeman04, Jacques, Marion Lad, Baron, Ghosty Pants, Ryan, Ben, Alfric, Eagle Rose, Melanie, and X Screechers X. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.